Hi everyone, I've been meaning to get this video out for some time. It's a relief carving of a flying barn owl and um, it's made out of this piece of ash here uh, which was tapered. It's quite, th it's thicker at the top of the plank than it is at the bottom and um, it lends itself perfectly uh, for this wood carving. I wanted to make it quite three-dimensional, this piece. Um, and I've chosen ash for a barn owl because of the pale colour of the wood. I just thought it would work really, really well with it. Um, I made this just before Christmas, uh, for a Christmas present actually, for Alfie Parrot, who has actually written the music for this video and recorded it, which I'm um, very proud to play. Uh, the tune is called um, Never Ending Summer, so just thought I'd acknowledge and thank Alfie for that for that piece of music. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop talking for a little while and um, and let you watch the um, the making of this bar now. Thank you very much. Okay, so you know, big jump forward. Um, now, start to work on some of the finer detail. You can see on, on one of the wings, I've marked out the primary and secondary feathers. They're, they're the larger feathers of the wing. And there's like a three-tiered effect going above the wing, which is for the smaller feathers. Uh, but I, you know, I was carved, generally carved most of the overlapping sec primary and secondary feathers with the flap disc. Like I am now with the, the angle grinder. And then um, after that, I'll start drawing out some finer detail again. I always draw out um, the feathers before, and it means it just gives me something to aim for very, very quickly when I'm doing the carving. And I always count the feathers out as well, because generally there's around between 18 and 20, or in total, primary and secondary feathers. It's normally about 10 primary feathers and 10 um, secondary feathers part of the, part of the wing. Chiseling, I always do everything one direct line, one after the other. It's much quicker that way because your wrist is in the same position. It's much quicker to, to aim with your chisel. So another leap into the future again. Um, most, of the, most of the chisel work is done uh, and I've done some cleaning, cleaning up with... Um, a uh, little die grinder uh, drill type tool that I have and now I'm onto pyrography work uh, which helps mark out even more fine detail. I, I just love the way this uh, works so naturally with the wood. I don't like using paint, uh, I prefer using pyrography. It really, uh, I, I like the natural kind of feel to it. There's a bit of element of surprise, it's not too uniform. Uh, you know, as if I was to hand paint it. So this is the finished piece after a, a coating of Danish oil. I think it, it's come up really, really nice. And this is it now, mounted on the wall. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Do like and subscribe to my channel. I put out stuff quite frequently. Thanks for watching.